Hey friends, welcome back. And if you're new here, I welcome you. I have a pretty huge Bath & Body Works haul that I would love to share with you all. I did decide to participate in the $4.95 shower gel sale yesterday. So I stopped in store and just wanted to share with you all what I decided to pick up. I really hope you guys enjoy videos like this. So let's just get started. So this is just my receipt. And the first thing that I picked up is a shower gel in the scent Bonfire Bash. I love the design on this year's Bonfire Bash, the pretty pinks. And here are those notes. Vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. And if you guys watched my previous um, haul video, I recently picked up three of the Bonfire Bash uh, body lotions. It smells so good, and I really think it's a great scent to layer with like other vanilla scented uh, fragrance items. So for the $4.95 deal that was on yesterday, um, I just couldn't pass it up, so I really enjoy this scent. It's slightly musky, definitely sweet, almost marshmallowy sweet, and um, it has like a sweet smokiness to it. It's really nice, so I recommend Bonfire Bash if uh, you haven't added it to your collection. It smells really good. And I picked up two of these shower gels. The next thing that I picked up is a moisturizing body wash in my favorite scent, Sunset Glow. And take a look at the beautiful packaging on here. Um, this one smells so good. The notes are fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and caramelized vanilla. I love that fresh coconut and that sweet. It's almost like a... A sparkling sweet cherry it's not too heavy because some of their cherry scents can be a little bit smells a little bit artificial or too medicinal so I'm very picky when it comes to their cherry scented items but this one um, it does not smell like that this is a wonderful blend in my opinion and I love the caramelized vanilla it smells phenomenal and this one here is very moisturizing and makes your skin soft so i highly recommend that and you get a lot for the four dollars and 95 cents <laughs> next i picked up um, a fall favorite which is the white pumpkin and chai and this smells like a spiced pumpkin pie in my opinion it does have a little bit of apple in it um, however i don't pick up much of the apple I smell pumpkin pie so you get that cinnamon cider spiced pumpkin and vanilla glaze yeah I pick up the warmth of the vanilla and the pumpkin just with a little bit of spice this smells so yummy highly recommend this for this fall as the weather gets colder it smells phenomenal so I picked up quite a few of the white pumpkin and chives um not sure yeah here's another one here <laughs> and i also picked up a winter candy apple um not so much for myself this one is for my husband he loves this scent and i love the design on the winter candy apple this year and here are the notes candy red apple winter rose petals candied orange maple leaf and fresh cinnamon so in my opinion the candy apple smells like a true candy apple it is like sickly sweet so if you love candy apple sickly sweet scents this one definitely i do recommend i personally just am not into that super sweet candy apple scent but it does smell good so my husband loves it and um i don't argue with him about that so i pick up his favorites as well i also picked up our favorite <laughs> marshmallow pumpkin latte and this one smells great too a great pumpkin uh scented fragrance however you get more of the marshmallow out of this 
The fragrance notes are pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallows, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. I really love the creamy sandalwood in here. It's very smooth. This smells marshmallowy, fluffy, sweet pumpkin. It smells phenomenal. Um, definitely highly recommend this one. Here's just another white pumpkin and chai that I picked up. I also picked up a Into the Night, which is one of my personal favorites. Um, this just smells so seductive and grown and sexy. It smells like high-end perfume to me. It smells amazing. So take a look at that beautiful design. And the notes on this is Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. So um, this one here, you get the raspberry and I love that Velvety Rose Petals. And it's just smoothed out with that creamy patchouli. Smells good. <laughs> Let me give it a sniff. Yeah, this is just really like a nice, the raspberry in my opinion smells a little sparkling. It's very fruity and it's toned down with that patchouli to make it sexy. Man, this stuff is good. So if you like those notes, I do recommend Into the Night. I picked up another marshmallow pumpkin latte here. And the last thing out of this bag is another marshmallow pumpkin latte. So, I think that's everything. Well, no, there's one more thing in here. I think a couple more things. <laughs> oh, okay. I picked up the Vanilla Bean Noel. And I remember wearing this, like, back in the, like, middle 2000s and uh, the scent smelled a lot creamier and a lot sweeter to me. I know that Bath and Body Works will change the formulas and um, this smells much different to me this year. Um, I wish it was a little bit more creamier. However, I still wanted to pick it up. This used to be one of my all-time favorite scents back in the day. So, the notes are fresh vanilla beans, sugar cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, snow-kissed musk. I don't pick up, like, I wish it was more creamy, like the whipped cream note in here, but it's really not. Let me give it a sniff. I smell the caramel, and I do smell the musk, but something has it smelling like, it smells different. It doesn't smell like creamy and it may be the musk I'm not sure but I only picked up one of these because the scent just doesn't settle with me like it did in the past so we'll see how this one goes <laughs> and the last thing that I picked up is one of my favorites the strawberry pound cake shower gel and this one here is very nice it's a very nice sweet strawberry cake like strawberry it smells so good and the notes are fresh strawberries golden shortcake whipped cream so if you like strawberry cake and you like the scent of that um and you don't mind smelling like that i highly recommend strawberry pound cake this is has been one of my favorites for this year as well let's move on to candles so the first candle that I decided to pick up, and no, there was not a candle sale yesterday, but they did have the new holiday floor set out. So I wanted to pick up Peach on Earth and take a look at the packaging. It's just a frosted glass here, and this is their uh, white barn. And here's the lid, very pretty. And let's see if they have the notes. The notes are fresh peach, sweet cinnamon, frosted vanilla with essential oils. And these candles are $26.50. And let's see if I can get this top off of here. There we go. Oh, okay. This one smells really nice. You get the freshness. It's like a fresh peach. Not so much a super sweet peach. 
and you do get the sweet cinnamon and I also get the vanilla. So the sweetness is going to come from the vanilla in this candle and the peach in my opinion smells fresh and it's blended well with the sweet cinnamon. So I'm really happy to have peach on earth. I'm really hoping it performs really well. On cold it smells great and I do recommend. Okay, so here is a new holiday three wick candle and this is in frosted forest and you guys know I love my forest type scents with pine and uh, balsam. So take a look at the gorgeous design on this one and it's the sticker on the front and take a look at the wax color. Very nice. Puts you in the holiday mood, right? So the notes on this is frosted juniper, icy eucalyptus, evergreen branches, white spruce. So all those notes make me so happy. <laughs> I love eucalyptus, evergreen, white spruce, just full of Christmas, everything. So let me give it a sniff on cold. And this smells absolutely amazing. It's not overpowering on cold. It's very pleasant to the senses. Um, really excited to burn this. Um, the frosted juniper, it has a, has a slight sweetness to it. So this is um, not as strong as like your evergreen candle. This one is really nice and it has an icy cooling uh, note to it, which could be that eucalyptus. But everything is just blended so well and this just smells like being in a forest so if you like those scents i recommend frosted forest and i also picked up a uh, one of the newer frosted jars in vanilla bean noel and take a look at the lid and let's see if i can get this one open here we go and the wax is just white here. And here are those notes. Vanilla bean, marshmallow fluff, vanilla cake with essential oils. So I'm sure you guys know what vanilla bean smells like. Vanilla bean Noel smells like, I'm sorry. So I wanted to uh, get that in the newer jar. And I don't think I showed you guys the wax on this one. This one is just a white wax as well for Peach on Earth. This one I'm most excited about out of the new Frosted um, collection here. I'm mostly exci excited about Peach on Earth. Um, and I love this Frosted Forest here. Okay, and I also picked up another spiced apple toddy in the fuchsia colored wax here. And take a look at the beautiful design. And here are those notes. The warm apple brandy, spiced plum, tart cranberry, cinnamon stick. And my kids love this scent, so I wanted to um, have a few of these available to burn for them. So, I'm going to show you the wax again. Here's that color wax. And I do recommend Spice Apple Toddy if you have not tried it. And I have one more candle here. And this is just another Peach on Earth. Um, again, here's that beautiful, like, iridescent looking top. Very nice. So, guys, that's everything that I picked up in store. Five candles and a ton of shower gels. I did place an online order for some of the new, um, I got moisturizing body wash in Frosted Coconut Snowball. And I also wanted to try out the Snowflakes and Cashmere. I ordered that online in the moisturizing um, 
body wash as well so just waiting on those items to come so i really hope you guys enjoyed this if you did leave me some comments down below as what you guys decided to pick up um what do you think about the items that i shared today and um i look forward to speaking with you in my next video be sure to thumbs up and also subscribe guys and i will talk to you in my next video